Mushers must wear a numbered bib for identification and carry the following supplies on the sled. A proper cold weather sleeping bag weighing a minimum of 5 pounds. An axe head weighing a minimum of 1.75 pounds and the handle to be at least 22 inches long. One pair of snowshoes with bindings. Each snowshoe must be at least 252 square inches in size. Eight booties for each dog in the sled or in use. One operational cooker and pot capable of boiling at least three gallons of water. And a notebook to be presented to the veterinarian at each checkpoint. The notebook is for the musher to record information about the dogs and for the veterinarians to examine. The rest of the gear may be checked at most checkpoints. There are rules to the Iditarod to make sure everything is safe. Rules also make sure no one cheats. For instance, two-way devices such as phones, iPads, or iPods are not allowed. I'm disqualified from the Iditarod because I have an iPod Touch, and um, it's a two-way device, and they made it clear at the beginning of the race. The Iditarod is a race we all know and love, so it is a rule that mushers cannot talk bad about the race or any sponsors. One, go! From the day a musher enters the race until 45 days after the last team crosses the finish line, mushers cannot say anything bad about the Iditarod itself or its sponsors. It's also a rule that sometime in the race you must declare 24. You gotta be careful, you wanna be out of fuel, close to it, you wanna be able to time it right so when you leave here you're back to full but you can't break anything. Although the Iditarod celebrates the toughness and pioneer spirit of the mushers, the race is governed by strict rules that protect dogs, handlers, and the integrity of the race. Top consideration is given to the health of the dogs. Every dog death is examined and mushers face discipline if death is determined to be the result of negligence or cruelty. It's also a rule that sometime in the race, you must declare 24. You gotta be careful, you wanna be out of fuel, close to it. You wanna be able to time it right so when you leave here, you're back to full, but you can't break Then any. there's the Musher's Banquet, where they hand out the prizes such as the first to finish and the last to finish. At 2.20 a.m. on Tuesday, with six hard charging dogs in harness, Dallas arrived in 8 days, 11 hours, 20 minutes, and 16 seconds. A new Iditarod rate record. Right. Incredible time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 2016 Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race Champion, Mr. Dallas Seavey. The Sportsmanship Award is a good thing to have in the Iditarod. If you receive this award, it means that mushers around the world look up to you in a great manner. The five weapons for the Iditarod official finishers club has chosen as the recipient of the Donald Cole Sportsmanship Award, Mr. Baker.